I have a fraction sum here and it's number two and it says the sin, and you write it down the same time I write it down, the sin of negative theta multiplied by the cos of 90 degrees minus theta divided by, I want you all to be with me, work with me at the same time, this is just the cos of theta multiplied by the cos of 180 degrees plus theta. You wrote down that sum, which quadrant you're working in? Does my name change? Look out for that 90 minus there, everybody. While you are busy with this, let me see if there are any questions that I can quickly answer. Um, Monique, definitely thank you to Monique Peterson. She is from Sinian Gorno High School. She tried to do that some. Then I explained the fourth quadrant sign is complementary. That was from Govan Mark, also from Sarepta. That is correct. That's your 90 minus your 90 plus. I'm giving everybody the opportunity to work out that sum. And then let's see how it goes. Thank you so much to all the schools who are logged in this afternoon. I see a Tina. I see Talita. They, there's a lot of people logged on from Simeon Gorno High School. The sum is waiting for you, everybody. I sh I'm showing the last example. Here it is. Somebody asked me, ma'am, Cindy, you're saying, can you show the last example? I want everybody here. I've put down the example here. Everybody's writing this down, and I'm waiting for people to SMS through answers while you are busy working out the sum. I'm going to start so long with locating the quadrants. I hope negative theta is in the fourth quadrant. 90 degrees minus theta is in the first quadrant. Cos of theta, it is just theta, so that is in the first quadrant. And then 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant. Now we are going to look at, does the name change and how we do the sum. Right. Let's first start. I have a question on the screen, but I first want to finish this because I want to answer this question very clearly to the student. It's a very good question. Negative theta is in the fourth quadrant. How is sin in the fourth quadrant? Sin is negative. Does your name change? No. So this remains negative sin theta. Close your bracket. Open up your bracket immediately, grade 12, because you do not see a plus or a minus sign separating these terms. 90 minus theta is in the first quadrant. How is cos in the first quadrant? It is positive. Does my name change? Yes. To what? Sin theta. Please don't forget that. I'm going to divide cos theta remains cos theta. You don't have to do anything. And we are putting that in a bracket, multiplying immediately. 180 plus theta is in the third quadrant. How is cos in the third quadrant? It is negative. So that is negative cos theta. I hope that when you reduced your answers, you all had this. This is one, two, three, four marks. I have some people sending through that the answer is negative tan, see what P wear, and somebody sending through that it's plus tan. Athalia from Sarepta, you are saying that the answer is tan theta. You almost say it's tan squared theta. Look why. People look. A negative times a positive gives me a negative. Since it's at ease positive tan, sin squared theta over a positive times a negative also gives me a negative and cos times cos is cos squared. Look everybody, a negative divided by a negative cancels because it gives you a positive. Now wait, sin theta over cos theta is tan. You know that. But now you have sin squared over cos squared. Your answer is going to be tan squared theta and not just tan. I'm getting, let me just look at the questions here. I have Tembisa from Peakview. I hope I'm right. 
you had tan squid eaten that's beautiful thank you so much and then i have nyaniso also tan squid from sinyan gono high school that is correct just quickly somebody is asking me shanice you are asking me ma'am why is 90 minus theta in the first quadrant that is not difficult to answer look at my table 90 minus theta where is minus theta yeah remember i said start with your angle you want to know 90 minus theta where's minus theta it is here plus 90 one block anti-clockwise because this is a positive angle Shanice, this is a positive angle so it's minus 90 minus theta plus 90 takes you to the first quadrant and then um Please, everybody, the answer is not tan theta. The people who SMS tan, it can't be tan because you have sin squared over cos squared. And sin squared over cos squared is tan squared. I'm so happy that the people are, the people are understanding the concept of which quadrants. And also sin squared plus cos squared is equal to tan squared. That was lovely. And that is your reduction formulas. Which quadrant are you working in? Is it positive or negative? Does my sign name change? Only changes for 90 minus and 90 plus. 90 minus theta is in the first quadrant. Duma, you are saying 90 minus theta is in the first quadrant, and that is correct. I don't see any other questions, so I am going to go on to the identities. I just want to ask you, when we did the reductions, if you all understand how to locate the quadrant that is the most important question locate your quadrant so if i have just one last one last time okay if i if i have a um, 90 minus theta we said minus theta is here plus 90 take me there let's do one more just one more which quadrant grade 12 if i say minus theta very carefully plus Let's do a 360. Minus theta plus 360. Where is minus theta here? Plus 360. Positive. Go anti-clockwise. How many blocks? Four blocks. Plus 90. Plus 180. Plus 270. Plus 360. I am in the fourth quadrant. Okay. I think we are all okay with... My, I'm, I'm not so good with the pronunciation of the schools. Don't worry about that as long as you can do the sums. As long as we can do the sums, that is the most important. 